We all know about Nellis Air Force Base in the Northeast Valley, but what about the man it's named after? William Nellis lost his life in heroic action 70 years ago this week. But let's start with his Southern Nevada beginnings, not in Las Vegas, but an hour to the south in the much smaller town of Searchlight. Well, his grandmother was here, and she was running a, a hotel here. Jane Overy runs the local museum, which has a small section about William Nellis, and she's researched his time in Searchlight. Everything says how nice he was, how polite he was, and he was awful caring of older people. He did chores for them. After graduating eighth grade, Nellis moved to Las Vegas for high school and then worked first as a service station attendant. When war broke out, he started taking flying lessons and got a job with the railroad, which was protected. You couldn't get drafted without, without a lot of extra work, uh, but he wanted to fly. Base historian Jerry White says Nellis left the safe position to join the fighting in Europe. He got there uh, in spring of uh, 44. Uh, of course, then uh, June 6th, uh, Normandy D-Day, uh, and then the P-47s, the units he was in, actually moved forward into Normandy, into southern France, and were actually flying in dirt airstrips and doing mostly ground support. Nellis's missions took him right to the front lines. He was shot down already twice. Uh, and in one case, he actually bumped his head, banged his head against the canopy to get it to pop off, and they found him he was hanging in a tree and bloody and everything. Back in southern Nevada, the papers kept tabs on locals in the war. December of 1944, front page articles told the story of what would be known as the Battle of the Bulge. The Germans had basically thrown the, the, the last dice they had on the Western Front. Uh, they were trying to split the lines, uh, create some problem with the Allies. Nellis went missing, and months later, it was confirmed he had been shot down over Belgium. After the war ended, Air Force bases were being renamed to honor heroes. That service station that Nellis had worked at had belonged to rising politician Berkeley Bunker. So he was fairly well known to both him and McCarran. The two senators pushed it through, and the dedication came in 1950, a point of pride for both Las Vegas and Searchlight. Because he was a local, and uh, they considered him as local in town as we did here. William Nellis was buried at Henri Capel Memorial Cemetery in Belgium, which is maintained by the American Monuments Commission. His name continues on here, not just through the Air Force Base, but also his son Gary, who lives in Henderson. Kim and Dana. Tom, thank you very much. So that was the final video vault of 2014, but I encourage yes. you to always check them out on our website at mynews3.com if you end up being in a hurry and can't watch it in its entirety on the broadcast. Right.